Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to show you how to run a simple PHP file on localhost using XAMPP server in your system. For that you have to install XAMPP on your system. If you have never installed it, you can go to the link given in the description to install XAMPP in your system. So let's start. First of all, after you install XAMPP, you have to go to the C directory. Go to the C directory. Then go inside the XAMPP folder. Then go inside hddocs folder. So this is the folder hddocs inside which you can create all your PHP file. If you create a PHP file outside this hddocs folder, it will not run correctly in XAMPP server. So you have to create any file uh, inside this hddocs only. So let me create a folder inside which I will be creating other PHP folders. So let the name of this folder be PHP tutorial. Okay. So folder created, go inside the folder and create a PHP file. Let me create a new PHP file. Uh, let me give the name as index.php. Keep it simple. Yes. Index.php. Now right click anywhere in this window and click on open with code or you can open with any other code editor also. Now VS code is opening. Click on index.php in the explorer window. And this is the file, this is the text area, we have to write the code here. So let us print, let us print a simple hello world program in PHP. Because this is the first time we are creating a PHP file. So let it be simple as it is. PHP, enter, tab, echo. Hello world. Yeah. Question mark angle bracket close. Save the file. And now it's time to run the code. How we will run the code? We will type localhost. Then the name of the folder inside htdocs. The name of the folder in our case is php tutorial php tutorial and slash then inside it we have the file index.php it's saying site cannot be reached why because we have not yet started our xam server so click on xam server to open the xam control panel and then click on start beside the apache module to to start our Apache module and then refresh it and now you can see as you can see the hello world appears in the browser. So this is how you can create your first PHP file using XAMPP server. If you like this video subscribe to my channel and have a nice day.